Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I've got a video about a product I purchased the other day which is a solid state drive. Now this is a 120 gig OCZ or OCZ, however you pronounce it in your part of the world. Now I purchased this purely for the fact I've seen other people upgrading their computers with these drives and the speed improvement has been fantastic so I thought I would give it a go and do it myself. So what I'm going to be doing with this drive is going to be going inside of my Mac Mini. Uh, if you haven't seen the video of my unboxings and all of that good stuff I'll leave an annotation on the screen so you can check that out. Now I do have the Mac Mini Core i7, uh, two 500 gig hard disks and upgraded it to 8 gig of RAM. So this is going to replace one of those drives. So currently I have the I have OS 10 installed on the first drive and the second disk is just used for backup. So I'm going to be installing OS 10 Lion onto this and I'm going to be creating some videos showing how much of a speed improvement you actually get. So if we just take a look at the drive itself, so this is a two and a half inch drive and on here we have the mounting points here for the screws and again over here on the other side we have the same. And if we just look on the drive here, we have some bit of information and it does tell you here it's a 120 gig SSD SATA 3 Agility 3 series. And then just here we also have the data and the power. It does have trim support as well and it has MLC flash memory. So what I'm going to do in a second, I'm going to show you what my Mac Mini boots up like now with its standard disk and then I'm going to show you the improvement you get using an SSD. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to do a test using the Black Magic application I downloaded from the App Store, which will test the speed, well, the read and the write speed of the current disk. So as you can see here, we're doing the write speed first, and we're getting around 86 megabytes a second, which isn't that great, to be honest. Uh, so we're on to the read now, and again, it's at 86 itself, 88. So you can see that the speeds aren't that fast. And we don't have that many green ticks just below. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take out the disk uh, inside my Mac Mini, install the SSD, reinstall Lion, and then we're going to do another test and see what results we get. Okay, so I've actually swapped over the disk now, and as you can see here, I've got a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Now, obviously, this is where OS 10 Lion is installed. Now, what I'm going to do is close this down, and I'm going to bring in the black magic test and we're going to do another one so if we do that now so it'll do the right first as it did last time now previously we got about 86 on this we're hitting around 139 i think the highest one there maybe 141 uh, wait for that to finish and the right speed is nearly doubled i think it's more than doubled there we got 200 before that we didn't even get to 100 so you can see the difference by installing the ssd into the drive where it has no moving parts and the performance is just far, far, far superior. So what I'm going to show you now is the actual boot up time, which is insane, from the standard disk to the SSD. Okay, so we're off. So they've both been turned on at exactly the same time uh, and we'll see which one wins. I think it's going to be fairly obvious which one is going to win. So the SSD at the top has already got the Apple logo and the standard drive has just got a blank screen. We haven't even got the Apple logo just yet. Uh, so we'll see what happens in a second. And there you go, the SSD has already loaded and we're on the desktop. On the standard drive at the bottom, we haven't even had the Apple logo come up. So when I installed Lion onto the SSD, it actually took under about five minutes and just under five minutes to actually install it. When I've installed Lion on a standard hard drive before, it takes roughly about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can just see the speed improvement by getting an SSD. So we've just got the Apple logo come up on the standard drive. It's now thinking about it. So you can just see that the SSD has absolutely annihilated the standard drive that comes with the Mac Mini. And we're still waiting, it still hasn't come up. So I think it's fairly, it's fairly safe to say that buying an SSD really does improve your PC, your Mac, whichever you're going to decide to put it into to get the best performance out of it. And it still hasn't booted. I think we're nearly there. Ne next couple of seconds and it should come up. And finally, it's actually loaded to the desktop. So you can see what a difference it makes having an SSD. 
So if you want to see the install process of the SSD in the Mac Mini, there'll be a link at the end of this video. So I just want to thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button just above. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video.